Wagwan Jaja children, you know, all right? Pray you and your household are well. And the topic is burial versus composting people, burning them. Remember when Jeremiah chapter 10 says, learn not the customs of the heathen. That's why our four parents, they made sure they had the money to bury themselves because that's what we're to do. We're not supposed to be composted. We're not supposed to be burnt for funeral rites. Those customs are heathen. So did you understand now why Jehovah separated us unto himself from the heathen? Is because of things like these okay so i'm lily of the valley and i'm bringing you a greeting in the name of jehovah our creator and jesus christ of nazareth our king remember when our forefather abraham when his wife sarai died and he went to buy the cave to bury her and you notice so many burials we have not our bodies being burnt or composted you're gonna look in the description box which will have a link to where a lot of these customs are coming from the um, h-i-n-d-o-o-s those Bharati people and as you can know they are polytheistic i-d-o-l-a-t-e-r-s and also these names which are the Revelation 2 verse 9 people and the Revelation 3 verse 9 people and the Genesis 10 verse 1 to 5 people. And their book is very much not in line with the scriptures of Jehovah or their teachings or their doctrines or their customs. So when it comes to funeral and burial, Children of Israel, prepare during your lifetime to bury yourself. When you're not dead and have no money, that's when you see things like these come in. Yeah. Look up Bios Lodge as well. What they're doing with things like that and putting it on the food. So when we tell you that a lot of Jamaicans are going to be fleeing these countries and these lands and everybody's going to go back to their own people and their own land and it's going to be based on consanguinity or common lineage. Ours is going to be based on the laws of Jehovah God Almighty, your creator and Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our king and the kings and the queens. And the tribal leaders that he appoint to lead us in a holy and righteous nation, which is a theocracy. Because theocracy means Jehovah is the head of our nation. So, and the Bible is our laws that he gave us to live by. So, these customs are not our customs. Don't follow them. Don't learn from them. Don't do it. Okay. So a lot of these customs are taught by S-A-T-A-N-I-S-T-S -S from the T-A-L-M-U-D, the B, the Bharati, H-I-N-D-O-O-S, the Idolaters, the um, A-T-H-E-I-S-T-S, -S, and the Witches, the Wizards, and so on. So our Bible tells us to learn not the customs of the heathen. That is in Jeremiah chapter 10. Okay. So always remember, if you're new to this channel, the description box will have most of the details. Sometimes you have to pause the video and read it. 
because the artificial intelligence, it turns the voice into text and then that's when the censorship happens and the videos take, get taken down, the channels get taken down, the content gets blocked because if it's degenerate, it gets promoted. But if we're teaching holiness and righteousness and how to walk in the laws of Jehovah, they don't like that because these people work for S-A-T-A-N. All right, so with that, I'm going to say shalom. Like it, share it, teach it in your homes. Prepare your households for burial while you're alive. Just like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Jesus Christ of Nazareth and all our people. That's what they did. That's why when we say we don't mix with other people. Because the most already told us not to mix with them. Because they will turn the hearts of the children of Israel Jacob's children away from him and to their customs those black people all of these mix up customs and marriages that you see notice they're bringing it with them and their wives and their children then it goes from generation to generation and the land becomes wicked so when you think the Mosai doesn't know what he's doing when he tell you don't marry them don't covenant with them. Don't make them rule in your lands. Don't do none of that stuff. It's reasons like these. Shalom.